On this video, I will show you how to import Eventica dummy data. So we will start with a fresh WordPress installation. Okay, when you download the Eventica package from Temforest, you can unzip the files and you will see this structure. Documentation, parent theme, child theme, and dummy data. So, first, you need to upload the theme. We have two themes here, you can upload both of them. Go to the appearance themes and then click add new. And then click upload. Now you can upload the parent theme first. Click install now. Now you can return to themes page. Add new. Upload theme. And then choose child theme file here. And then click install now. Okay, I will return to the same page. Now you will see that you already have two files here, Eventica parent and Eventica child. I will activate the Eventica child now. Okay, after that you will see these meshes. So you can start installing all of the plugins all of the recommended and required plugins you can install one by one or you can try to bulk install all of them in one go okay i will click bulk action install click apply done okay I will go to the tools import again sorry then I will click WordPress and now you can upload the dummy content XML file Upload file and import. Okay. I will use my admin username. I will click download and import file attachment. Click submit. Okay. That's fine. This error is not important. Okay. Now you can visit your website again. Okay, you will see that your default home page is still your blog page. So if you want to use a home page, static home page, you can go to the settings, reading, and then choose static page, and then choose your home page, home events page, and then choose blog page, save change. And now you can refresh your home page again. So now it display static home page. Now you will see that there is no menu here. What you need to do is you can go to the appearance menu and then go to the manage location tab. And then choose header menu for header menu and footer menu for footer menu. I will click save change. And now when I refresh this page, you already see the header menu 
and also the footer menu here. Next step, if you scroll down, you will see there is no footer widget here. So if you want to import our dummy widgets, you can go to Tools, Widget, Importer, and Exporter. And then you can upload dummy widgets. Import widgets. Okay, and now when I refresh this page again, scroll down and now you will see our dummy widgets here. Next step, you can go to the settings, permalinks, and then you can choose a any custom permalink but my recommended is the boss name and then shop base I will click save change one small step if you want to use a WooCommerce for online store also then you can go to the WooCommerce settings I'm sorry I mean WooCommerce system status And then you will see some info that you need to check. For example, this is a WordPress memory limit. WooCommerce recommend 64 megabytes for the memory limit. You can increase it. Check our other video. And then you can scroll down. Then you will see that for the WooCommerce pages, page not set. How to fix this? You can go to the WooCommerce settings, products, display, and then I will choose shop page for my shop page. I will click save change. And then I will go to the checkout tab. Okay, for the chart, Page, I will choose chart for the checkout page. I will choose checkout. Save change. And then for the my account page, I will select my account page. Click save change. One last important thing is uh, you can review the menus and then choose header menu and then you will see that this one it's still using our demo URL so you can change this uh, URL with your website URL. Same with this. It is the limitation of WordPress when importing custom link. Don't forget to save menu.